Hey there, I'm Ari from the Tech Buyers Guru, and this is a smart home how-to video where I'll show you how to use Ring's solar panel with its latest third generation stick-up cam. Now, one of the challenges with using the Ring ecosystem of security devices is that they have marketed a number of products over the years with the same name. So I'm actually gonna show you three different versions of the solar panel, which are all called solar panel, which of course leads to a lot of confusion. And then I'm also gonna show you three different versions of the stick-up cam. Now, the one that I'm gonna be using is the latest third generation version, and it is compatible with the solar panel, despite the fact that this is branded right on the box saying that it's for the Spotlight Cam. Now I'm also gonna show you the Spotlight Cam in action, and I'm gonna show you how it will work with this solar panel, as well as a earlier version of the solar panel that has a slightly different plug. This is all to say that Ring has kind of created a problem for itself by using the same brand name and marketing names for all of its products over the years because it likes those names, but it doesn't actually describe those products very well. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you what this looks like, what the new stick up cam looks like and how these work together to give you unlimited recording and unlimited battery life thanks to the power of the sun. All right, I'm gonna show you what you get in the box here with the solar panel kit. Of course, you do have the solar panel. I got it in an attractive white finish. On the back, you'll see the attached cord that cannot be detached at all, so you are gonna to have to use it. It has this barrel style connector, and that's gonna be important. That's what you have to match up with your device, and it will match up both with the spotlight cam and the stick up cam that I'll be using it with. Of course, you get that ring screwdriver. I've got a lot of these now in my collection. And then behind the manual, we see the mounting bracket. It's a really simple device. It has a pivot on there. You get a few screws and some anchors to attach it. And then it slides right onto the base of the solar panel, just like this. Time to take this solar panel outside and show you how to use it. All right, we're gonna start our tour of ring solar panels with the original stick-up cam. This is very notable for its boxy look. It is not made anymore, it's not produced, but let me show you what its plug looks like. The original stick-up cam actually used the shielded USB input for its power source, and that's what the original solar panel uses. So I'm gonna show you this. So I've actually had this solar panel mounted here for years, powering up that original stick-up cam. It has never failed me, and the batteries have remained at around 90 to 100% the entire time. So it works really well and that is a first generation solar panel from Ring. Now here I have the second generation stick up cam. This was actually probably the nicest stick up cam they ever released. It had a really nice mount, came in around $200, it was fully weatherproof and this model is no longer sold. You may be able to find it kind of in a closeout bin but this model, which was a really great stick-up cam, is not the one I'm talking about either. Now here is a Ring Spotlight cam. This has actually remained the same for several years. I've been using the same solar panel with this since I installed it. It's actually a second generation unit, so I'll show it to you over here. Now from the exterior of this panel, you can't tell that this is a second generation versus a third generation, but the important thing is the cable it uses. So this is the plug that's used on the spotlight cam. Note that the original second edition of that solar panel had these two screw holes on the side to attach the back of the camera. I found that it still wasn't very secure and it let water in. So I've actually gone ahead and used duct tape on this camera. So if you have a ring spotlight cam like this, you may be wondering, well, why are there those two screw holes in the back where the plug attaches, do I not have the right solar panel? No, actually if you're buying the latest version, it's not gonna have any screws and it'll actually just have a weather tight rubber seal as I'll show you in use on the latest stick up cam. So here is the stick up cam version three. Again, Ring doesn't use the version numbers all that often, but this is version three. It comes in around $100. That makes it half the price of the original version one and the version two that I just showed you. I've actually had it mounted here for about a week running on battery and I've depleted about 3% of that battery every day and this is a high traffic area. That suggests that I would only be able to use this camera for about 30 days or around one month before the battery was entirely depleted. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I can attach that third edition solar panel 
to this third edition stick up cam. Now, one other thing I'm gonna show you before I mount this is how long that cord is. There is a lot of disagreement on the internet and even among Ring's own tech support agents about how long this cord is. I actually called them and they had no idea. So I'm just gonna show you, I have it up against this tape measure. I'm gonna show you how long it is from the base of that cord to the end. It's 152 inches in there. All right, keep in mind, you're gonna need some of that length for slack and of course, you know, it depends how you mount this, which direction that cord faces, but 150 inches or so is how long that cord is. So one really nice thing about version three of the stick-up cam is it's really easy to mount and unmount. So I can actually just slide it off that bracket that's attached to the wall with two screws. If you're concerned about theft of the camera, someone walking off with your camera, there's actually a security screw you can put through the base that goes into the mount and it uses a different head type. So it's not a Phillips or a flathead screw. It's gonna be something that most thieves won't be able to access with whatever tools they have on hand. So here's the barrel style input on the third edition stick-up cam. And here is that barrel style connector that's included on the third version of the solar panel. It doesn't have the eyelets that the second edition did that was designed for the spotlight cam. And as you can see, this fits in perfectly, snaps in, and is very solid due to that rubberized connector. So there you have it. Time to mount this on the wall. As always, Ring makes this really easy the solar panel actually just slides right onto its mount and snaps on. Then I'll take the plug and actually just plug it into the back of the camera, which is easily accessible here. I don't even need to take the camera off the wall. Now, of course, I've got this 12 and a half feet of cable that I'm gonna to have to wrap around the solar panel or the camera. Because I have this big post here for the solar panel, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it around there. So there you have it. The Ring Solar Panel version three is connected to my stick-up cam version three and giving it full-time power, which means I never have to worry about removing this battery and charging it to keep my security system running. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what the setup looks like. Go to settings. It actually shows that it's connected to a power outlet and it's at 35%. Now 35% is what it was at just before I connected the solar panel. I think it does take some time for it to register that it's actually connected to a solar panel, but I'm quite confident that this is gonna work because I've seen this on other cameras I've used from Ring, where at first it thinks that that solar panel is a power outlet, but then it registers it as a solar panel power source. All right, hopefully that clears up how you can use the latest Ring solar panel with the latest Ring stick-up cam. Now, I have to admit, I love the Ring ecosystem, but their marketing really does need a little bit of tweaking Frankly, I actually called their technical support to ask them about this and they couldn't even answer my questions about which solar panel worked with which camera. That just goes to show they don't really know what they're doing. They're just putting out great products and letting you figure it out for yourself. Well, hopefully I've helped you figure out a little bit about how to take advantage of these great products. If you have any questions, please post them down below. I'll be sure to get back to you. As always, I appreciate a like and subscribe and I will catch you soon.